Hello YouTube and welcome to the Awesome Blackness channel, or ABC for short. My name is Mighty, and on this platform, I'm going to explore the awesomeness of our black people. That's right, whether you're big or small, celebrity or civilian, anywhere in the world, if you're awesome, you're featured here. And it's time to drop another nugget. As a kid, there were certain activities one had to accomplish within that sacred period known as the weekend, or you were weekending all wrong, much of which included various outside shenanigans, of course. However, there was also some mandatory TV time you had to get in, whether that was the morning cartoons with a big bowl of your favorite cereal, which for me was Captain Crunch. Yeah, I tortured myself with the roof of the mouth exfoliating goodness, or the live action shows in the afternoon slot while snacking on a hot pocket because nothing feels more satisfactory than exploding molten cheese and mozzarella on that fresh mouth wound of the 90s. At the time, I was limited to whatever was on the old rabbit ears, which was good for some quality content. However, on the occasions I was able to sleep over my cousin's house where he had this luxury item called cable TV, the playing field definitely changed. On the network, Nickelodeon for example, there was a more robust selection to choose from, including game shows targeted at my demographic. And while there were programs like Guts, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Double Dare, and Wild and Crazy Kids to name a few, for me there was no other show I wanted to be on more than Nick Arcade, where most importantly you could try out the latest video games before they dropped. I was certainly jealous of anyone that got to play on anything related to the Neo Geo, which for many of us was way expensive to afford. Funny how times have changed. In one specific episode, they had Super Ghouls and Ghost for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in one of their game cabinets. After seeing this, I begged my father to get it for me when it came out. I remember we went to Toys R Us in Chicago and he dropped the cash for it. I held it in my hands, no bag, the entire train ride back home. Best Christmas gift ever. Never beat the game, but still. And while there may have been predecessors like Starcade and Video Power, nothing came close to the ace that Nick Arcade had, which was the infamous Video Zone, where you could literally be in the game. I wanted to play that part the most because I thought it was really real. And although I'd since discovered that it was simply kids running around a blue screened soundstage while watching their progression on a monitor, side note, my local library essentially has the same setup in the kids section that my middle daughter was really into. It was refreshing to know that they weren't merely acting on stage. Despite having to use a little imagination, the technology used to really immerse the players within that game environment consisted of sophisticated computer equipment in tandem with cameras that translated that player into an actual game sprite with a hitbox so when they were struck by an enemy or environment it really registered which was a monumental feat for early 1990s tech and effectively laid the foundation for a number of innovations we all enjoy today all of which brings us one step closer to that reality. Aside from this, what also made me gravitate toward this show is the fact that there was a host who looked like me, and to that end, had the same mannerisms, low key, as a slightly silly, dorky, but still affable and cool person. This host was named Spooky Cookie, Phil Moore. Actor, writer, producer, rapper, and comedian. Though he may be best known as the face of this iconic show, he has gone on to not only host and produce other shows for the network and beyond, but also accomplish so many other awesome things that I am honored to mention. But first, born on the 24th of August in 1961, Moore is originally from Baltimore, Maryland. He eventually made his way down to Daytona Beach, Florida to attend the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University then to Orlando, Florida, where, around 1986, he worked as a computer technician before eventually quitting to pursue a career in entertainment. As a means of honing his craft, he would also become a graduate of Lisa Malley's 
Professional Image, Modeling, and Acting School in Winter Park, Florida. Moore soon became a well-known comedian in the Orlando area, where he was able to parlay his notoriety into several television show gigs as a warm-up for the studio audience, most notably on shows such as Remote Control and The Mickey Mouse Club. His first acting role came in the 1989 movie After School, where he played a basketball player. However, his more notable credit was in the John Singleton-directed movie Rosewood as a character that was pivotal to the main plot. It's amazing what you pick up when looking at something with older eyes, as I hadn't seen this movie in a long while. And the most recognizable people I noticed at the time were Ving Rhames, Don Cheadle, Elise Neal, and Esther Roll. Watching this for the purposes of this video not only revealed more, whose character again helped drive the main narrative, but also Ken Sagos, aka Kincaid from Nightmare on Elm Street 3 and 4. He played Big Baby. And Big, Big Baby, Baby gonna shoot. shoot. My favorite line from the movie. Also around that time, he went on to host two game shows for the Nickelodeon Cable Network. Previously mentioned Nick Arcade from 1991 to 1993, as well as a hidden camera show called You're On from 1998 to 1999. He has guest starred on Malcolm and Eddie and all that and was later a semi-regular panelist on Nickelodeon's Figure It Out from 1997 to 1999. In 2002, he received a Distinguished Emmy Award for Best Host, Interviewer, as well as the 2002 Videographer's Creativity Award for hosting Aqua Kids from 2000 to 2001. In 2000, Moore relocated to Hollywood, California to further his career as an actor, but found writing to be his true gift. He is the writer for the Style Network's longest running series, How Do I Look? He has also written for a number of shows from the E! Network to Animal Planet. In 2015, he, along with the creators of Nick Arcade, one of whom is also Awesome Blackness, were instrumental in the revival of the game show. A Kickstarter was made to that end, but I don't believe they reached their goal, and so the plans have been shelved for the time being. These days, he focuses on making public appearances. However, he's still working in TV, producer of the series Chasing the Crown, Dreamer to Streamers, and at his alma mater for the series Tuned In. As much as he is a public figure, his private life seems to be that, as his IMDB shows that he has a wife and two kids, but not much can be found about his mate and at least one of his children. I did see that his son, who I legit thought was his brother, is on social media and seems to be following in his old man's footsteps. So what makes him awesome is apparent. Moore was an essential part of the 90s, through and through. More than that, he was the first black guy in media that I could recall being more closely related to. So for me, personally seeing someone in a position like that was monumental. And apparently, I'm not the only one. Notwithstanding the love he probably receives in his public outings, he also continues to receive tweets from people around the world who have been positively affected by him in some manner. Okay, so thanks for watching, and thanks for sticking with this series that was supposed to last 10 months at the most, but turned into a cluster of subject changes, format changes, and life changes, all of which, in my opinion, turned out for the better. That experimental side project I'm doing seems to be going well, well enough to warrant another, so check back for that soon. However, we're going back to highlighting real life awesome blackness, and this video was the best bridge back into that realm. I'm going to get to work on the next video, so keep it locked. In the meantime, if you like what you've seen, you keep the love coming the best way you know how by liking and sharing. Get more people to like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you know when I drop another nugget. And until then, stay awesome.